Hey there, Internet. Have you ever wondered how to get that nice, natural, glowy look? I'm not talking about shiny, metallic seen from space base makeup, but something soft, subtle. It looks like your skin is just naturally damp, but you didn't want to spend a lot of money. Well, if those very specific things apply to you, boy do I have good news. That's exactly what this video is. Let's get started. So I have been testing out some drugstore glowy base products that I'd like to share with you all with the disclaimer that I have oily and textured skin. So something that is glowy but can last and doesn't highlight the texture that acne and picking at my skin has given me over the years. Don't pick at your skin, kids, because it'll leave a little bit of texture that can be kind of difficult to fix. A little tip from me to you. So let's get started with kind of a foundation, kind of not. What I've been doing to get that natural glowy look is mixing the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil, I have the shade 2 Vanilla Nude, with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion, I have the shade Fair Glow. And together this is kind of like the perfect combo because the NYX I really like it because it's kind of yellow, so it helps cancel out any initial redness, and it's quite sheer, but easy to build upon. It's not runny in texture like a lot of tinted moisturizers. It's actually pretty thick, but it still gives you that nice sheer coverage, and combined with the Lumi Glotion, it applies like a dream. I have been super enjoying this product, by the way. It mixes so well into my foundations, tinted moisturizers. Usually I do like about 30% of this with 70% foundation. It also works great as a primer. You could really concentrate it on the cheekbones as a highlighter. It is quite versatile, and because it has like just a drop of coverage in it, like let's say you have perfect skin and you're looking for that model makeup kind of thing, this could be it. I've heard talk that this is comparable to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Liquid High... I'll throw a picture up on the screen. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure about that. I've never tried Charlotte Tilbury, but I can tell you this is very high quality. And for the price and the amount that you get, this is 1.35 fluid ounces and a little goes a long way. So you are getting a pretty great deal. Okay, so if you're like me, you probably have areas that you would like to conceal slash highlight a little bit. I always like to add a little bit of concealer like underneath my eyes and around my nose. Sometimes like between my eyebrows, on my chin, it just depends. So for this purpose, I quite like the NYX Born to Glow because I think it's a good illuminating concealer without being too over the top. Like you won't have any shiny flecks of glitter in this, but it's not a matte kind of finish. Does that make sense? I feel like this is good medium coverage. The applicator is super annoying though. It has a sponge tip applicator. It gets gross real quick. I have thought about just like removing it completely, but I don't know. The last time I tried to like mess with the packaging of my makeup, it got a little gross, so I'm holding off on that for now, but do be warned, it is a sponge tip applicator. It is not packaged well, although I do appreciate the squeezy tube. That was a nice touch. By the way, I wear this in the shade Alabaster. I'm pretty sure if I use any NYX product, I tend to go for the shade Alabaster just in case you're around my skin tone and curious what I tend to go for. All right, setting powders is where it gets a little, like we have to be creative. I tend to like a loose silica powder for directly underneath my eyes, just because I can't do anything that promises a glowy finish directly underneath my eyes or anywhere where I've applied concealer. That just tends to make the area look crepey. I don't know if I'm alone in that. Uh, take with us what you will, but what I have used to set the perimeter of my face, so not my T-zone, but everywhere else around it, is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder. I feel like this could also work as the world's most subtle highlighter. If you want the most gentle suggestion of glow, this would 
probably be a great option for you. I like to take a big fluffy brush, just kind of swirl it in, tap off the excess, and just kind of gently swirl it around to set my base, because again, you know, oily skin, I do need to set it so that it lasts. And this does the job pretty well. As you can kind of see on the perimeter of my face, I do have a bit of glow going on for me, but it's not excessive. And I really like it for that. It, it does the job pretty well and has got such a um, smooth silica kind of feeling. If you're familiar with silica-based powders, then you'll know uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, and finally for highlighter, to get that glow that doesn't look metallic or too, too shiny. I have really enjoyed the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. There are two shades. I have shade 10 be my highlight. This is, I believe I've said this before, this is a wedding highlight. This is the kind of highlight that doesn't show the highlight stripe, if that makes sense. You know where you apply highlighter and because it's so intense, there's just this jarring contrast from where you haven't applied it to where you have. It creates kind of a stripe on your face. Because this blends in so easily and it is so subtle, you won't notice that stripe on your face. It blends in really well. It's great for photography. And you can kind of build this up. So if you prefer a intense highlight, but you don't like the stripe, maybe give this a try, kind of build it up a little bit, play with it a bit, and I think you'll really enjoy it. I believe this is the cheapest of the products that I'm recommending. $5, great highlight, use it a lot. And hopefully, as you can see, I have all these products on my face right now. I, I feel like I have a very glowy, healthy looking base, but I'm not concerned about whether the product's going to just melt off my face throughout the day because it is set. You know, I did use powders to set my base down and kind of lock it into place. And I'm also not relying on just one product to give me an ethereal look. It's really kind of in combination with a bunch of other products that work really well together. And while I'm thinking of it, us oily gals, give powders a try. I know it can be tempting to try like liquid blush, liquid highlighter, liquid everything, and I those can be kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes they just disappear off my face because when you have oily skin, your face just kind of eats liquid and cream products and it can be kind of dicey to work with. But if you layer and use these in combination with other liquid products or just on their own, you will get that glow that you're after without having to compromise wear time. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you want to have the look of just, what does Samantha Ravindall call it? Just being damp. <laughs> if you like the look of that glowy, fresh face kind of look. I know that's super in vogue for summer and I just want you to know that not only can us oily skinned guys and gals play ball, but we also don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Perks, right? So let me know in the comments what your favorite glowy base products are, if you have recommendations that lean more liquid cream or maybe powder, or if there are any drugstore products that you think I missed. I would love to hear them. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!